Hello YouTube. Okay, today we're going to take a look at the uh, beta 1 of Ubuntu 10.04 Lucid Links. I have the live CD imaged on a 2GB SD card, which we're going to boot up from on the Dell Mini 10V. Your classic Atom N270 N280 netbook. Have boot options go. Of course, we select a USB storage, and it goes straight into the Ubuntu thing. Yeah. I'm using an iPhone camera, so the white balance isn't the best. Look at that. That's pretty nice. Now, keep in mind that once you install this, it will boot up extremely fast. Like ungodly insanely fast that was my experience with alpha 3 at least Ubuntu beta 1 takes a little longer I think but that's it's, it's a beta that can be worked out yeah it takes a little while <laughs> there it goes there's a new background for you. It's kind of nice. In fact, it's very nice. <laughs> and see, when you boot it up, it goes straight into the installer. It doesn't actually wait for you to hit a button or something, which is very nice. So you can tr either try it or install it. And we're going to try it just because I'm showing this to you. Of course, I hit the try button, it takes a while. And this is loading off the of flash memory, remember that. So if you're doing this off of a CD, it'll take a lot longer. It's thinking about it. There it goes. Here we are. Look at this. This theme is gorgeous. Mm. So much better than the human theme. I hated the human theme. It just looks so... Ugh, putrid and brown. And of course, here we are, the applications menu. Compared to Alpha 2 uh, and Alpha 3, it looks a lot like Alpha 3. GIMP is missing in Alpha 3 and Beta 1, as they promised it would. I'm guessing they do that to save space. It has Gwibber and all that stuff still. Gwibber is a social client. It'll connect. Gwibber is basically a social networking client. It'll connect to Twitter, FriendFeed, uh, Flickr even, and Dig, and a bunch of other stuff. It's pretty nice. OpenOffice 3.2, of course. Has Pivoty Video Editor still, which I'll start up just so, you, just so people can see. This, I think, is a major breakthrough with Ubuntu, because there's never been a basic video editor in Ubuntu. Because with this, you could simply just clip a video and put it on YouTube with like no problem at all that'll be great that's a bad sign right there that means that wireless drivers are not installed out of the box why they were in 10 or 9.04 wireless drivers worked out of the box in 9.04 on this computer 9.10 they didn't which I was really disappointed in I'm even more disappointed now that it doesn't work what what, what the hell that's kind of irritating See that this is my that's my main problem with Ubuntu is that they're never consistent. They they always insist on putting like new stuff out there right away rather than testing it testing the water. But I guess in between LTSs is when they test the water. Either way, I I like the look of this. Now, let's let's look at some of the new themes. Of course, it has some of the old ones like clear looks. Which, you know, is your classic Ubuntu thing. Now, this displays how they've uh, completely butchered the, me the uh, buttons here. Look at this. It should be reversed. Close should be here, minimize should be here, maximize should be here. Unfortunately, they do it the other way around. Yeah, if they're going to uh, do that, then that that's just weird. Of course, there's dust, which does the same thing. 
There's one that I remember from the, uh, from, this one you might remember from the Alpha 2 video. It's, uh, see, look at that. It's similar to the human theme, but a lot better. There you go. The theme is called Radiance, and it's pretty nice, actually. I like it. Stop it. Uh, let's put it back on ambience. Ambiance. Close that, and I'll show you the hardware part of the system monitor. Let's see how much resources this uses. At idle, it barely uses anything, so let's open a menu that's not in the way. God. Open a menu. It goes up to like... Yeah, you start opening menus, the CPU goes up, all that stuff. This is an Atom N280 1.66 gigahertz processor with uh, hyper-threading, so... There you go. And it's using about 209 megabytes out of the 2 gigabytes that are in this computer. And that's about 10.4%. <laughs> it's using no swap whatsoever because I have 2 gigs of RAM. And, uh, yeah. It, it's pretty light on the resources. However, when you start running programs, that'll go up. So, like Firefox especially. But overall, the look of this is just incredible. One thing I, we never looked at were, were backgrounds, actually, system backgrounds, if they change any of those. So There are no backgrounds with the beta. Okay. That's... Okay, maybe there are, but they're just... Oh, there they are. Okay. Yeah, they're the same backgrounds as before, pretty much. Same backgrounds as 9.10. Maybe a few added pictures here or there, but that's about it. Yeah, that's the beta for you looks pretty good so far. The look of it is fantastic. The integration of the social networking, I think, is a huge breakthrough. And so is the video, the sort of the basic video editor they have there. And it looks like this is going to be a good LTS. Which will be, which will mature pretty nicely. Because it's already pretty good in beta. And that's, that's, that's it for you. So, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.